though, man. I've never seen one like that before. Okay guys, to do this effect, you need at least two items. I am using the picture of the fierce lady Kaga here. Well, you can use a video instead of image too. This effect works on both. Okay, now put the images into timeline one after another. Now, right click on the first image and then click on crop and fit. Doing so will make it fit the project screen if it is not of the same ratio. Like here in the second image, you can see that we have the slight black bars here and we don't want that. So now just simply right click on the same image and now select crop and fit. Also keep in mind that having a picture or a video in full screen isn't actually a necessary requirement. You can perfectly do the effect with the clips with black bars. Okay now if I play then you can see that it is a normal transition of first clip to the second clip and a very abrupt one on that regard. Well let's adjust the timeline a bit so that we can see better. Okay now go to the effects tab into the filter section and now into the shake tab and now take this chaos one filter and put it above the clips. And now simply trim the chaos one filter to 1 ratio 0 1 seconds. Keep in mind that it should be 1 ratio 0 1 seconds. No more or less than that. Once the trim is done, now put the filter in the middle of the both clips. Which basically means that the amount of area that it will cover on the left side, then it should also cover the same on the right side too. Well, to figure it out if it's in the middle or not, simply do what I'm about to show you. So now go to the start of the filter and now use your keyboard right arrow key to go frame by frame forward. And now count the number of frames present on the left portion of the filter. Let's count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 frames on the left side. Then it means that it should be 12 frames on the right side too. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 14 frames on the right side. Well, it should be 13 frames on the either side. So this means that it is off by one frame. So to correct that, simply go one frame before and change the position of the filter to that frame. Let's recount to check. 13 on the left. And 13 on the right. So yeah, it is in the middle now. Okay now, once it is perfectly in the middle of the both clips, then simply double click on the filter and then here in the filter settings, simply uncheck the RGB separate box and now for the frequency, make it to 1%. And now for the position X, make it to 0. And now for the position Y, make it to 0. Now for the position Z, Make it to a full 180. So now if I play then you will see that it will create this S type of motion effect. Okay now double click on the second image and then go to his transform section and here simply click on this first triangle here to flip the image on the side. Well, don't ask why, just do it. And now simply export this into a video. Also to keep in mind that the export video should be 60 FPS. So once it is done exporting, now import the just exported video back to Filmora. And here you can see our video. Okay, 
Okay, now I put the video back into timeline and now don't change the project settings. Just keep it at 25 frames. Now let's expand the timeline a bit. And now let's go to the point where the second image appears in the video. Here it is. So now where the second image appears, simply split the video there and then double click on the second portion. And then again go to its transform and now click on the first triangle again to flip it back. And now if I play then you can see that we have just created this smooth and minimal spin rotating video transition in Filmora. Okay, one more thing, as you can see that it is spinning counterclockwise. So to do a clockwise spin, then remember the first time we flipped the second video. Then again, instead of flipping the second image, this time select the first image and then flip that image. and then export it into 60fps video. Once it is done exporting, import it back into Filmora. And then put it into timeline and then go to the point where the second image appears. And then again split the clip there. But now this time select the first portion of the video and then flip it back. So now if I play then you can see that we have created a clockwise spin. So yeah guys that is how you do a smooth and minimal spin transition in Filmora. So guys what are your thoughts on this video? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you think that this video is worthwhile then hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that I can able to bring amazing videos just like this for you. Till then see you later.